Okay, so let us uh, just recall that if A is Noetherian respectively Artinian and M is finitely generated A module, then M is Noetherian. respectively R t. This follows directly from the uh, onto homomorphism A into M. A chain of submodules of M is a sequence m not uh, yeah, m equal to m not contained in m 1 so here each one is a strict inclusion of submodules of m and a composition series composition series of m is a chain uh, such that m i mod m i plus 1 is simple. What do you mean by simple? It has no non trivial subgroups other than 0 and itself. So, there are no subgroups sub modules of this module other than 0 and itself. Okay. Uh, okay, so if let, let me maybe I'll write this as m minus one m n minus m n equal to zero. I mean I'm talking about composition series uh, that terminates terminates at zero. That means m one is a maximal submodule of m naught, m two is a maximal submodule of m one and so on. Okay. and the length of this chain is said to be n. Uh, uh, Let us look at one or two examples. So, if the module itself is a simple module, then your composition series, you know, this is a composition series, right? Z p is a simple Z module. So, this is a composition series. Suppose I take Z 4 let us say. Can you give me a composition series for Z 4? Z 4? Z 8? Z 2? See, when we talk about Z 2 contained in Z 4 etcetera, 
the ideal generated by 2, 2 z 4 and 0. You, you should not really say that z 2 contained in z 4, no, that, that has a lot of scope for confusion. Uh, so, this is a composition series of Z 4, uh, another composition series of let us say Z 12, Z 12, then 6 Z 12, 3 Z 12, sorry. Uh, other way around, right. 3 z 12, 6 z 12, 0. What is, uh, yeah. Can you give me another composition series for z 12? Two z 12. 4 z 12, what is 8 z 12? 8 z 12 will, will again be 4 z 12. There are no proper sub modules of z 4 z 12, right. 4 z 12 is 0, 4, 8. It, it does not have a proper sub module. Similarly, I have one more, right. I can say 2 z 12, 6 z 12, 0. They are all composition series. So, the composition series of Z 12, all of them have length 3, right. What about take the Z module Z itself, does it have a composition series? I can start with you know if I want to construct a composition series, I, sh I should find a maximal sub module. So, let us say 2 z, a maximal sub module of this 4 z, a maximal sub module of this 8 z and so on, it never terminates. So, z does not have a composition series if a mod ok, I will come back to that. So, the first thing that one you know tends to think about, suppose, suppose you take a module which has a composition series ok and suppose it has different composition series is it true that all of them have same length? In this case, right, Z 12 has same. So, this is uh, indeed true. Let M be a module with a with composition series. of length n. Then, every composition series of of m has length n. Moreover, every composition series 
uh, every chain can be extended to a composition series. Okay. So, M can have uh, many composition series. So, let us denote let L of M denote the minimum of lengths of composition composition series of m i want to say that every composition series is of this length to start with i know that you know that n is bigger than or equal to m right so, observe that length of m is less than or equal to n. Let n be a sub module of can we say that L of n is less than L of m. First of all, will this have a composition series at all? Will n have a composition series? How can we uh, construct a composition series for n? Yeah, take a composition series for m. m and then intersect with n each other. that will give me a composition series for n. So, therefore, a n will have a composition series. Now, what will be the length of n? Will it be strictly less than m I and mean, will this always hold true? Okay, let us look at this. So, let uh, m equal to m naught contained in m 1 be a composition series of m. Now, I take n i to be n intersection m i. Now, what can we say about C? Then we have, then there is, uh, there exists a chain n, n naught is n because that is m naught is m, n is a sub module, therefore, m intersection n is uh, n naught, I mean n itself this is contained in n 1 n n equal to 0. So, here see in this one we will have to put less than I mean subset or equal to because we do not know how there can be two of them which when intersecting with n can give rise to only one sub module. So, we will just put like this. Now, what can you say about uh, n i intersection n i mod n i plus 1? What is this? This is m i intersection n mod m i plus 1 intersection n. 
Now, this, this injects into mi mod mi plus 1. Right, this one, if I take any x bar here, so x plus n i plus 1, if I map to x plus m i plus 1, this will be an injective a module homomorphism. So, therefore, this injects into m i mod m i plus 1. but then this is a simple a module so therefore this is either equal or zero since mi mod mi plus 1 is simple either ni ni mod ni plus 1 is equal to m i mod m i plus 1 or n i is equal to n i plus 1. So, if n i is equal to n i plus 1, I just remove it. Okay. So, by deleting the corresponding uh, I mean repeated terms, what I get is a composition series. By deleting the repeating terms. So, let me call this uh, chain 1. We get a composition series for composition series of uh, n Therefore, length of n is less than or equal to length of m, right. Now, suppose I take what is you now what is meant by see our aim is to show that it is strictly less n if n is a proper submodel then this is strictly less. What is meant by this these two are equal. If L of n is equal to L of m, what does that say? That says that here none of them is repeating. That means nowhere this happens. Or in other words, n1, what is n, uh, sorry, what is n n minus 1? Look at what is n n minus 1. This is n intersection m n minus 1. So, this is not equal to, so n n uh, n n minus 1 mod n n is equal to m n minus 1 mod m n, but n n is what is n n? That is 0. Therefore, n n minus 1 is m n minus 1. Right. Similarly, n n minus 2 is now n n minus 1 is m n minus 1. Therefore, pulling back ultimately we get and that implies n n minus 2 is m n minus 2. So, on ultimately we get n is equal to m. So, therefore, therefore, if n is a proper submodule of m, then length of n is strictly less than length of m. See, this has a very interesting consequence. Let m equal to m naught contained in m 1 be a composition series of
m. Then length of m is bigger than or equal to length of m 1 plus 1 right from the previous discussion this is bigger than or equal to length of m 2 plus 2 length of m n plus n, but m n is 0 therefore, this is n. So, L of m is bigger than or equal to n. If I take any composition series, L of m is bigger than or equal to n, but L of m by definition what is it? Minimum of lengths of composition series which means if you take any composition series that has length L of n. Okay. Now, to prove the last part, suppose I take let m k uh, sorry m naught is m uh, m 1 be a chain of uh, sub modules of M. Then we know that length of M k minus 1, this is less than length of M. So, when you say that, it means m k minus 1 has a composition series and it has finite length you know this is a well defined. So, I can find a composition series for m k minus 1. Okay. Now, if m k mod m k minus 1 is not simple that means, m k is not a maximal sub module of m uh, maximal sub module of uh, m k minus 1 is not a maximal sub module of m k minus 2 and length of m k minus 2 is again finite because it is le less than length of m naught. Therefore, it has a composition series take the I mean m k is not a maximal sub module therefore, you can you know extend it keep doing this and find a composition series for. I mean what we are doing is basically we are inserting modules whenever it is not a maximal sub module. Okay. This the fact that length of any if m has a composition series then any proper sub module has a composition series and the length is less than the length of the composition series of m makes us um, enable us to complete this process. Okay. So, less than length of m then m k minus 1 has a composition series if m k minus 2 m k minus 1 is not simple then m k minus 1 is 
not a maximal submodule. So, if I take uh, not a maximal submodule of uh, oops. M k minus 2. So, choose a maximal submodule of uh, M k minus 2 contain M k minus 1 and I kind of apply induction you keep doing this. So, uh, let M k minus 2 prime be a maximal submodule of m k minus 2 containing m k minus 1. And keep doing this. So, therefore, this length has uh, proceeding like this. So, what we have seen is that if a module has a composition series, then every composition series is of same length. Okay. So, therefore, if M has a composition series, then there is a unique integer associated with uh, m, which is the length of the composition series that is unique. The length of the composition series of m is called the length of m. Okay. And if m does not have a a composition series, then we say length of m to be infinity. Okay. So, we have already seen examples where it is uh, finite length. So, what is length of z 12? 3 length of z p 1 length of z 4 2 okay. suppose i take m to be take a ring a and look at a maximal ideal m power n Okay, I look at m is a maximal ideal in A and look at the module m equal to A mod m power n. Okay. Now, can you give me a composition series for this? Uh, I should I want a sub module of m. m yeah which is same as m right m mod m power n contained in i mean containing m square mod 
m power n what is a mod m power n modulo m mod m power n is this a composition series see how do i say this is a composition series if this is i call this m1 m mod m1 is this simple what is m mod m1 m mod m1 is this is isomorphic to a mod m right that is a field therefore, this is simple. What about m mod m square uh, m mod m power n mod law m square mod m power n. What is this isomorphic to? m mod m square. This, this need not necessarily be isomorphic to m mod m or this is m mod m square is an a mod m module it is an a module at the same time it is an a mod m module, but a mod m is a field. So, this is a vector space over a mod m right this could be a finite dimensional vector space this need not be a of dimension 1 like this. So, there could be many you know this need not be simple if this is an n dimensional vector space then suppose this is generated by x 1 bar up to x m bar then I can within this I can have this x 1 bar up to x m bar x 1 x 2 bar up to x m bar x m bar right to 0 this itself is a composition series of m mod m square right. So, therefore, this this is this need not necessarily be a composition series I can I can you know in insert in between and get a composition series, but then each time what we are going to do is insert finitely many well assuming that m is finitely generated. If m is finitely generated each time I will have a I will have finite number of uh, modules in between and this will be a module with composition series with finite length ok. So, so this implies that uh, if m is a finitely generated a module uh, finitely generated ideal more generally if I assume a is noetherian ok. Then length of a mod m power n is finite. a mod m power n has a composition series that composition series need not be what I what I wrote there that you know, a mod m uh, a mod m power n containing m mod m power n containing m square mod m power n and so on that need not be a composition series, but we can insert in between there could be many, but we can insert and ultimately get a finite composition series. So, this is another important uh, property of composition series uh, modules with composition series m has a 
composition series. if and only if m satisfies AC's ascending chain condition and descending chain condition, both. If a composition series, m has a composition series, then it should satisfy ascending chain condition and descending chain condition. So, the I mean one way is immediate if m has a composition series any chain can be extended to a composition series that is what uh, the previous result says which means any chain has to be finite whether it is ascending or descending whatever you, wherever you start with it has to be it has to terminate right. So, therefore, this if m has a composition series then uh, any chain of submodules of m has uh, finite length. Therefore, m satisfies a c c and d c c. Any chain will have only finitely many elements. So, ascending chain condition and descending chain condition both are satisfied. Now, suppose I conversely let m be m satisfy ascending chain condition and descending chain condition. Okay. I want to say that it has a composition series. So, we construct a composition series. Now, let m 1 be a maximal sub module of m. I can say this because m satisfies ascending chain condition. What is meant by ascending chain condition? It is any increasing chain terminates equivalently any collection of submodules of m has a maximal element right and equivalently every submodule is finitely generated. These are three equivalent conditions. Now, I am start I know that a m satisfy uh, m satisfies ascending chain condition. Therefore, I can choose a maximal submodule of m. Okay. Now, I look at so therefore, I, now I look at m 1. I look at the collection of all submodules of m 1 which are anyway submodules of m. Submodules of m 1 again because of m satisfying ascending chain condition this will have a maximal element. Okay. M 2 be a uh, okay. so we can since m has ascending chain condition m 1 such an m 1 exists. Okay. Then uh, now sigma 1 be the collection of sub modules of uh, 
m 1, this is a collection of proper sub modules of m 1. Let m 2 be a, in fact I should have chosen m 1 like this. Let sigma be the collection of all proper sub modules of m, let m 1 be a maximal element. Now, let m 2 be a maximal element in sigma 1, then I have. So, continuing like this, I get a chain of sub modules we get m contained in m 1 contained in m 2 and so on. Since m satisfies descending chain condition there exists k such that m k is 0 because if it is non zero i can you know if it has a non zero proper sub module maximal sub module i still can go uh, further down so therefore the chain terminates uh, m has a a composition C. So, having composition series is equivalent to saying that it has both ascending chain condition and descending chain condition. Okay. So, this is like you know length is pretty much similar to the you know dimension of a vector space, it is ring theoretically very close. if I have a sub module you know if I have a subspace w of v, if it is a proper subspace then dimension of v is strictly bigger than dimension of w. Moreover, <coughs> we have we know this dimension of v is equal to this is rationality theorem you can say dimension of w plus dimension of v mod w. Right? I mean how does this come? So, if I look at I have this exact sequence what this what rationality theorem says is that dimension is additive on the short exact sequence dimension of w minus dimension of v plus dimension of this is 0. Okay. So, is this true for the case of uh, modules? So, suppose I have a you know m prime to m 2 m double prime to 0 modules of all of them have modules of uh, I mean all of them are modules of uh, finite length. Now, suppose I have a see I want to say that is this is it true that length of m mod length of m is equal to length of m prime plus length of m double prime. I only have to produce one composition series of which satisfy this property composition series of m with length equal to this plus this. Can you think of one? So, here you can think of m prime as a sub module of m and m double prime as a as m mod m prime right. So, you can think of this m prime as a sub module of m and m double prime equal to m mod m prime 
m mod m prime has a composition series. So, let us look at m double prime see this will be this has a composition series any sub module of this is of the form some you know sub module of m mod containing m prime modulo m prime. If I have a sub module k of this then k I can think of this as some n mod m prime where n is a sub module of m containing m prime right. So, I have I can write like this m prime which is m mod m prime contained in m 1 mod m 1 mod m prime m r minus 1 mod m prime and 0 what is 0 this is m prime mod m prime. right. This is a composition series of m double prime. Now, suppose I have a composition series of m prime, m prime contained in m 1 prime m r m s. So, this is m s minus 1 prime contained in m s prime which is 0. Now, can you tell me a composition series for m? This composition series of m double prime, this is composition series of m, m prime. m, right? m m 1 contained in m r minus 1 m r which is same as m prime contained in m 1 prime m s minus 1 prime m s prime equal to 0. Now, look at each each uh, quotient m mod m 1 m mod m 1 is same as this modulo this, but this is a composition series. Therefore, this modulo this is simple this modulo this is m mod m 1 therefore, this is simple. Similarly, at each at each stage the corresponding quotient is same as the corresponding quotient here. Therefore, each time it is simple. Therefore, this is a so length is additive on short exact sequences.